Bitcoin is the uncensorable money of the future. Bitcoin has a lot of complex and powerful functionality, but it is not easy to access in a lot of cases. As a globally distributed system, it uh, has certain constraints in terms of how much data can be crammed into that global system. So generally, the best design approach is to build layers on top of Bitcoin, so you're not polluting that database over time. And that's where Portal comes in. We've built a self-sovereign wallet where you control all of the keys for your own assets. We've also built a peer-to-peer -peer exchange directly integrated into the wallet, which enables you to offer your assets up for trade for any other asset that's available in the market. With Portal, we wanted to build a privacy-preserving solution. We didn't want user data on the chain, which is gonna last for a long time, so we decided to use an off-chain solution. With an off-chain approach, we can actually preserve the privacy of our users. And one of the goals, obviously, of Bitcoin and decentralized finance in general is to give the common man access to this powerful technology. And when you, ink, when you cram everything into one database like Ethereum does, you're gonna end up with very, very high transaction costs. So by separating things out into an off-chain transaction and building things in a layered approach, we can not only reduce costs, but make things faster and more private for the average user. That's why we chose to use Bitcoin as our base layer. It is an order of magnitude more secure than even the second place system behind it. We can rely on Bitcoin to be a base layer system to provide the security of a layer one blockchain while still extending and supporting additional features and functionality that the markets have come to expect. We've chosen to implement something known as an atomic swap using a feature of Bitcoin called a time lock. This enables you to trade assets between two different blockchains without ever relying on a third party. We can construct very powerful smart contracts. And in our case, we're building what are called atomic swaps, the ability to move Bitcoin from one blockchain to another and back again, which I think is ultimately what people are looking for. Portal is helping Bitcoin by bringing some of its most advanced functionality to the market. Currently, there's been a lot of theory, a lot of uh, ideas, and a lot of prototypes being built over the years, but no one has actually brought these things to market in a big way. Portal is bringing Bitcoin's smart contracting features to the mainstream and bringing the idea of free trade back to the world. Uh, it's as simple as that. Portal is the resurgence of the free market in the truest of senses.